Jonathan Levine of Bloomberg recently reported that he feels the US housing market is in an uneasy state of equilibrium. Yes, demand has plummeted as mortgage rates hit a two-decade high, but prices haven't declined much in part because supply remains correspondingly low. He says that if borrowing costs don't start to normalize by early next year, the scales may finally tip. Prices could plunge. The new year traditionally is when homeowners start to think about selling a new inventory soon follows. Mr. Levine states in his article that this is a time-honored tradition that draws on some smart strategy and a good bit of industry law. He's not wrong. As the thinking goes, buyers and sellers want to close their transactions before the summer especially if they have children starting at schools in September. Homes do tend to look their best in spring, enticing potential buyers with colorful pictures, blossoms, and plenty of flowers, adding to the curb appeal. The thinking in the real estate industry is that even if sellers don't come out in quite their usual numbers over the next few months, there may still be enough inventory to push home prices over the proverbial cliff. The message to sellers, of course, is to sell now and not wait until spring. But where do you go and what will it cost you remains to be the 800 pound gorilla in the room. For those who have enough equity, cash, or already own a second home, it's definitely a strategy worth considering. But for others, not so much. You may well want to find out what your home is actually worth at this time and figure out how much equity you do have and not rely on the guesstimates or the online algorithms. After all, only you know what work you've put into your house or those projects you never got around to doing. Algorithms can't account for that. You'll need a certified pricing strategy advisor to really work it out so the numbers make sense. Do you need to spend money to prepare for sale or not? Are all your ducks neatly lined up or do we need to work on those too? To find out, get in touch with me and start the process. The number's on the screen below. No obligation, just the information you'll need to make a smart decision, which maybe will help you move forward or not. See you soon.